that one song on YouTube about the animated evil clown. Stop, stop. Okay, okay, I'm freaking out a little bit. angels and welcome to another sims 4 build video and if you are new here then it's just welcome my name is vanna and today we are going to be doing the color book challenge yeah! this challenge is made by sydney macaretta i will link her video down in the description box down below but basically what you do is you build an entire house in all white so wallpaper floors plants everything you can get in white and then afterwards at the very end you go through and change all the swatches as if you're coloring in a coloring book hence the color book challenge i did a lot of this on stream so feel free to follow my twitch down below if you guys are interested in seeing me go live at times and without further ado let's get into the video i don't know what type of house i want to build i just know i want it to be small because i don't know how to make small houses i have a huge problem with sizing but i want it to just be like two rooms a kitchen living dining controversial opinion but people be crying about medium wall height but why do i like it i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna move this back on the lot like all the way because i think i want like a lavish front yard oh i guess i'm gonna okay let me just Vanna. see you see how my brain works it works in circles not even circles in freaking squigglies somebody is taking a pin and just drawing all over my brain because i cannot function i build quite a bit of modern homes i just really love them i've always loved them they're like something that i really enjoy and this is like my favorite roof to do <laughs> it's a Maybe we try to make like a little eco house. Dang, I'm not allowing myself the chance to change them. So whatever I pick, it's it's there. I'm picking a lot of things I've never used before in my entire life. And that's probably scary because I don't know the colors of these. Is this the one? Are you the one? Let me figure out wallpaper. So I think I want just this part to be plain. I don't know what colors these things freaking come in that's what's scary yes i love following strims uh, strim seamers if we ever do that again oh maybe we do this like a little paneling right here i've never done this like somebody please explain to me why i'm deciding to venture out and use stuff that i've never used before on a build that's going to be all white to begin with does it make any sense no no it does not am i still doing it yes i am <laughs> yeah bet your sweet ass i am I don't know how this is gonna look in color, but we're gonna pray. Everybody say a little bit of a prayer for me. I kind of started with this little modern eco house vibe. This is what we have so far. We have the shell here. We have this little fishing pond, fishing area, and a little seating area over here. Yeah, this is basically it. It's not too crazy, which is good, but I have gone crazy with landscaping. So even though it's not taking me a long time because there's like 80 floors, it's taking me a long time because <laughs> I'm adding so many plants for some reason. Do I want that as the back door? Is that ugly? That's too big. I need something that's like not super big. Super wide. <laughs> super wide. Super heroes. Ooh, we could do just we could just do a little glass moment like that. Go off. She said we're gonna shine today, baby. <laughs> it is the door's moment. Oh yes, yoga mat. Can you imagine doing yoga outside right here? Well, okay, listen, this is not, <laughs> this is not, let me, let me get the view. Let me get the view, okay? Cause I did not give y'all the view for sure. I mean, you got, you got the big plant in the way, but like imagine, imagine, look at how beautiful that would be. Oh my God, I'm amazed. I think I am fully done with the outside. I'm gonna put one more plant. I really love to layer up my plants, I'm not gonna lie, guys. I love me a good, like, eight plants in one corner. Does it feel like it's a bit much? Perfect. That's exactly what I find. <laughs> I think I might use the same flooring all throughout the house that I use on the front. Because it looks nice. I like it. Let's do the kitchen. Let's try to get this going. Well, maybe we use these ones. I've not used these from Island Living. Is this the style? <laughs> Wait. Why did that come out of my mouth like that? Hopefully they still look cute later. Maybe we just go ahead go with cottage living vibe for the fridge and stove. Does Island Living not have matching upper cabinets? Of course it doesn't, because why would it? Why freaking would it? I've never used these before. I've never even seen these. 
If I hate this later, we're stuck with them, babes. <laughs> we are going to be stuck with them. Oh, we have a thermostat. We only have the ugly fire alarm. Ew. I don't like this one. I don't want it. It's so ugly. So do I do safety or do I just say screw it? Screw it. See, it's kind of easy when it's all white because you can just have no thoughts and be like, yeah, that looks fine. That looks absolutely perfect. But it's going to come to the later areas where it's like, did this look fine after all? And we're going to see the truth. Ew, can you imagine having your trash next to the mailbox? I really actually love this house. Like, I don't know where this came from, but I reached down in the depths of my brain for it. Trash cans do not fit the vibe, man. They don't. <laughs> Under the tree, maybe? Oh, we can like hide it right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't be following Sims on Twitch or anything. Not Twitch. What am I saying? I'm trying to say, what is the bird app? <laughs> I sound old. What is the bird app? Oh, the rugs are gonna be so hard. Oh guys, the rugs are gonna be hard because I can't see the colors. I freaking love these werewolf rugs so much. Like, they have me in a chokehold. I think I'm gonna be a little bit safe with this rug in here though and do the new one from Growing Together. Oh wait, doesn't it have a white swatch? Oh no, we don't have an old white swatch. Oh, this is gonna pain me with the Okay, I can't use the rug. That hurts my soul. Anyway, this person is gonna have a cat. I've decided they're having a cat. I I'm gonna put a little cat tree in this corner because we want little baby to be able to look out the window. Yes, this is gonna go there. They're gonna get the biggest cat tree ever to exist because that's what they deserve. And that's just who I am, enter Disney. That one song on YouTube about the animated emo <gasps> Stop, stop. Okay, okay, I'm freaking out a little bit. I literally think about this song all the time. So the I am so lonely and so sad girl. Yes, and her little vampire <laughs> stalker boyfriend. And I don't think you understand how happy it is that you, you just brought that up because they were my life. Girl, I was like, that is me. I'm so lonely, I'm so sad. Okay, let's put a little table over here. I guess I should put a little table in here. I really like these chairs. I really love cats and dog stuff. I love this game. And then we can put it kind of like this. This works. Yeah, that's not bad. Ooh, Batu flowers. Not gonna lie, the Batu plants be kind of popping off. Ooh, I gotta put this somewhere. I don't like doing wallpaper. That is literally the, my least favorite thing. Like flooring doesn't even bother me as much as wallpaper does. Where the hell do my curtains go? My curtains are just gone. Like they just vanished. They said, bye bitch. Well, I feel personally attacked. Why is this on? What the heck? Oh, I did that. Did I do that? What the heck is going on? Got wallpaper on the walls too. I wonder if it's gonna be too much with the all one color. The only problem is this wall is not gonna be able to stay white. So if I put this solid white color on it, I'm gonna have to change the color. And if it's not a cute color, I'm gonna be freaking livid. I don't usually use this because the colors make me think of the boy in the striped pajamas and that is just really too upsetting for me. I'm not, I'm not kidding. I'm thinking about the one from Cats and Dogs, but I don't know. Oh, oh, look, look, there's so many. I think this one looks the most white. I'm the problem. Yes, we're adding another plant corner. Yes, that's happening. City leaving, city out, city leaving. Why don't you tell them that I'm leaving? Now they're coming back again. So anyone else remember when Jesse McCartney came out with that and about everyone and their mamas died? Cause I died. That was a, an awakening for me. <laughs> <gasps> Should we do a bubble tron? They really just trying to live that life and I'm trying to give them that life, but I don't have the space for that life. <laughs> Here is the tour of the whole house done in fully white. So this is the front of the house, the whole outside. We've got the little nook area, the beautiful pond. We have the back porch and then we have the side yard. Here is the front porch. I just added recently a chair and this plant that I couldn't figure out where I wanted to go inside. We see the little cat's area. We have the living room space. We have our all white kitchen. We have our teeny tiny little dining nook slash hallway area. We have our office slash chill space. 
Then we come in and we see the bathroom as a whole, which is super cute. Then we come into the bedroom. So here we go. That is the whole build. So let's start coloring it. Oh, maybe we can do this blue color. That's kind of nice. Or we have green. I kind of like the green. Is that weird? We could work with a lot of color. Cosmo and Wanda think they slick. We also have these like dark browns, which is kind of nice, not gonna lie. Oh, okay, okay, it's not looking bad, I don't think. Let's change the cat litter box, or cat litter box. <laughs> the cat mailbox. And then we gotta change the color of the stairs, which is a little bit scary. Okay, so these are the ones that we use. We have a bunch of like neutral light colors. I think that one's okay, maybe. I was kind of hoping there was an actual like brown stairwell. I don't want dark flooring though. I kind of want to keep it as light as I possibly can. This one was the best. Yeah, it still looks a bit odd, but I think that one looks the best with the flooring that we chose. Maybe we can just go with that. That's not my favorite with this siding. Oh, why don't they match up with the door frame? We can do this one, because I think they were in, yeah, the solid swatch, so we can do the ones with the trees. Cute. Okay, let's change all these plants. Cute. Okay, I think this part is done. I'm gonna go through really quickly and change the color of all the plants and then I'll be back to finish the rest of the outside. I did all the flowers, so I just made them all multicolored. I feel like this house is just full of color and life. I mean, they like to go fishing. They like to be out in nature, so there's that. I can't wait to see it with all like the fireflies and stuff. Maybe we could do yellow chairs. Yeah, that's cute. Then this barrel can be like green i've been i'm not gonna lie i've been putting a lot of green out here what color do we want the bunny when they did a brown bunny with him blue scarf look at him blue scarf oh he's so cute this is really fun why am i having a lot of fun i'm enjoying myself oh i actually have to do this trim really quickly but you're not gonna be able to see it but Maybe we could do this in blue. Like I said, you can't even tell, but just know it's being changed. So that is changed to blue. See? Blue. You know I didn't lie. Oh, why don't we do this like bright orange? That's cool. And then the cooler can be blue. And we'll do, we'll do a green water bottle. The front is completely changed. Okay, and let's do these windows over here. I guess we can do this color. Yeah, to kind of match the windows in the front. I mean, they're a little bit darker, but what can we do? Oh yeah, we gotta change these little flowers. We can make all these yellow, and then the trellises, the little ladder things, can be the same like little tan swatch. Ooh, that dark green looks cute. Okay, so we are going to have to change these from the leaves, which is kind of sad, but that's okay. Oh, we can do these little flowers. There we go. The plume, the plume and pink flowers. <laughs> and a yoga mat. Oh, I really like that one. Look how cute it is with the leaves. Oh, that's so cute. I wish I had a cute yoga mat, but my cats like to eat ones that feel like foam, so uh, they don't last. Okay, and I think the outside is entirely done. Oh, that yellow is fun. Oh, what if we do that? We'll go with like a little bit of an orangish theme in here. I guess we can do this blue because it kind of matches with these pillows right here and this orange ties in that pillow. We'll do this one because even though that blue doesn't match perfectly, it's okay. Now the wallpaper can either make it or break it, but we shall see in due time. Okay, so I colored everything, so I have to do the wallpaper. So we're gonna put the focus on the living room, specifically this like floor wallpaper, which is interesting because I thought it looked different than this, <laughs> but it doesn't, it looks like this, so, you know. Okay, I kind of like that. Okay, that green is a bit much because it doesn't really make sense. 
if we did yellow is that too much yeah these accent walls have me nervous for a good reason <laughs> I should have just did one whole wallpaper. I think the yellow is probably gonna look the best. And this is what's kind of scary because I don't know what all these swatches come in. Oh, okay, we can do these. It's a little bit darker. Maybe we can go with green for these. They have so much color outside, like why wouldn't I bring that inside too? This right here, that kind of matches with the appliances. It looks really cool. I'm actually really liking this build even with the color. I don't think like these colors are something I would like use on my own. If I hadn't put these items together the way that I have, if that makes sense. And then what color are these stools? I actually don't know if you can sit in these stools. So just to try to make the build a little bit more functional for you guys, I think I'm gonna move them up just a little bit, not anything too crazy. And then with these stools, we can just, I mean, they're all dark anyway. We can go with like the, this green again. Because it doesn't match with the wood on top. That does actually bother me. Oh, I did not know these stools came in this color. I kind of like the yellow ones. It looks a little bit weird in here, but I don't know. I kind of like it. Somebody's probably shaking in their boots, crying like, Why are you choosing these color schemes? But I don't know. I'm vibing with it, okay? That's why. What if we do like this? Make it like golden? I personally think that looks the best in my opinion, so that's what we're going with. And let's do these shells. I really suggest that you guys do this challenge, honestly. And then we can go ahead and just change this little area as well. Feeling very colorful in this house. <laughs> this house makes me want to just decorate everything in really bright colors. Oh, this is a pretty plant. All right, and we're done with the kitchen. Oh, guys, this is really fun. Let's do the bed first because that's obviously the main focal point. And then we'll kind of do everything around the bed. Well, I do like these little pattern ones. If we do that like orangey, greeny, bluey, yellowy one. What if we go with the orange to match little orange spots in the bed? I don't like that the arms don't match with the bed frame, but I think I like the orange color best. This can be like this oh, beautiful creamy yellow. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Let's do... Well, we can do some avocados. I'm scared for the wall, so we're just gonna keep putting that off last minute. Let's do the frame. Oh, okay. There we go. The story of, what is it? The hen who never got help? I don't know, I don't remember what story that is, but that's what that picture is given. Oh, the green? It might be a lot of green, but I'm kind of vibing with it. I kind of like how, how intense the green is in this house. Is it a bit much? Yes. But why is that like my favorite thing ever? I'm sorry, I'm going with the green. I just, I really like it. <laughs> I think we actually need to start with the wallpaper for this one. Maybe we just go with the bright yellow in here. I mean, it's not like the rest of the house isn't freaking bright. Yeah, we're gonna go with the disgustingly bright yellow in here. <laughs> and go with this muted green for the shades. Ew, is that like crunchy? I mean, the attention to detail, but like, it's crunchy. They didn't tear that off right. Oh, do we go green? I think we go green, guys. Hashtag go green. Okay, we'll do this one. Maybe we just do these like dark browns. Yeah, that's cute. Then the tub can also be gold. And now we're done with this bathroom right here. And this is the end of the house results. So you guys will see the final room at the end. I ended up doing the office space off camera because I wasn't feeling well. But here's the tour of everything in color. I think it came out super cute, super nice. I had a lot of fun doing this. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well. Feel free to leave a like down below if you did enjoy it. Subscribe to see more content from me. And leave any suggestions down below in the comments if you have any. And I will see you guys at the next one. Bye, Earth Angels.